Hi there, my name is Hans Jonge. I'm the co-director, co-producer, uh, co-screenwriter, editor and director of photography of Roma Titanet et Amor, the, the film Sarah and I shot two years ago in Rome. And uh, let me give a, a quick introduction to myself. So I prepared three questions for you. Um, and then uh, I will talk a little bit about the process of making uh, the film Rome to Net at Amar. Um, so uh, I hope you won't be bored. So first question is, how would you describe yourself in one sentence? All right, well, that's, well, that's not such a difficult one. I, I think uh, I'm, I'm a person who wants to be immortal. And uh, of course, I don't uh, mean it in a physical way, but uh, more in a Kundarian way. Um, I want to uh, that people would remember what I did in my life uh, and maybe even remember myself. I, and that sounds pretty pretentious, but I think deep in our hearts, we um, uh, most people would want to be uh, immortal in the end. So um, next question, what do you like? I think in general I like to create things. Uh, of course I like to create films um, and I also like to, to take pictures um, and drawing and, and painting as well. In general I think playing with image thing stuff is, is really, that, that's really me I think. And uh, I'm also studying to become an architect. Uh, so I like to design buildings and I obviously hope that you will um, you will see some buildings designed by me and I hope it will be uh, big and famous buildings, of course. Though not skyscrapers. Well, now you know that. Furthermore, I like classical music and uh, I'm a little bit ashamed of that. I like uh, the movie Titanic. I think it is excellently produced. And well, of, co of course, within its, uh, its, um, its kind, of course, but you know, well, I'm ashamed of that. But. I should be honest, uh, making this introduction. The last question, before I really start to bore you, is uh, what don't you like or what do you hate? First of all, I hate Quentin Tarantino. I don't know why, um, I just don't like his films. So, well, that's a confession of me. I mean, I, I should like it, but, you know, I just don't. Uh, I, I can't help, really. Um, and second, uh, I, I hate uh, dishonest people. Uh, of course, nobody likes dishonest people, but really, I hate them. Uh, at last, I hate uh, every kind of music that has something to do with R&B, hip-hop, well, that, that kind of stuff. I, uh, rap as well, I mean, it's horrible, really. Let's talk a bit about the film Roma Tinet at Amor, because it hasn't been uh, always easy to, uh, to produce it. Uh, first of all, we took, took a big risk uh, just booking our flight in our apartment without having found the actors, without having finished the script and uh, we, we just did it. I mean, we, we just went there and in the end it all uh, w was fixed, all problems were fixed. So and then we, the, we went to Rome shooting it and um, I can tell you it has been a tiring week, really. I mean, the first night, I mean, we didn't know the actors. Um, we hadn't seen them before. So we said, okay, let's, let's have a drink. And well, it became later than we, than we thought. Uh, so uh, we, I think we were in our beds at, uh, well, what would it be like two or so, or three maybe. And we had to wake up at four in the morning to shoot sunrise at the former Romanum. Uh, so okay, that, that was like two, two hours of sleep the first night and then the whole day of shooting, I mean, it was so tiring. And then the next day we had to wake up early again to shoot the, um, the waking up scene of our main character at uh, the Gianicolo. So it started really intensive and actually it never stopped being intensive. All week was, was uh, well, extremely um, challenging uh, to, well, both physically and mentally. And, um, we, we had to do, uh, for example, decoupage, which is uh, framing of, of the scene and uh, choosing the shots. We had to do that on the fly for some times. I mean, really, I mean, it's, a, it's almost a miracle that we shot at 100,000 locations and that we uh, got away with it completely. I mean, we, we shot everything, well, almost, almost everything we wanted. So coming home, the film, of course, uh, wasn't done yet so we had to had to edit it and we edited 
it and well and that went quite fast because when you write a script uh, record everything you want it's just cutting pasting well it's quite straightforward and then we had to write voiceovers for for a story because um uh, that that would really add some value to it so but and and that took us um quite some time uh it took us almost one year mainly due to communication issues you know it, it just goes slower when you communicate through skype and, and that kind of stuff so it took us one year and then we had to 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 have it translated into italian which also took one year and then we had to discuss all the tiny little details about the translation and then finally this summer we recorded um the voiceovers uh, and so we have all the footage now well not all the footage but 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 most of it so um I'm really, really looking forward to release it, and uh, well, and then it's finished after two and a half years. I mean, who could have imagined that? Uh, you know, two and a half years ago, we we thought like we shoot it, we edit it, we record the voice surface, and it will be finished in half in half a year. But you know, never you never know what's gonna happen in life, of course. So I hope you weren't too bored by this introduction. Uh, I actually hope you even enjoyed it and uh, Sarah will, will make an introduction like this as well uh, which is soon to be uh, uh, placed on the website and uh, we hope that our main characters, uh, the actors will uh, make an introduction like this as well and we will certainly ask them to. Um, well I think that's, that's it for now, I mean see you next time, um, bye!